Hello there, and welcome to Lesson 20. We're getting near the end, folks, in our Unit 2, uh, building a website. And um, we're deep into the group project. Today's question of the day, what skills and practices will help us work together to make a great website? You're going to actually code the pages that you've been planning, going to use the project guide, and the team is going to work together and individually to code all the pages, then put it all together into a single site. Don't forget to look at the rubric while you do this to make sure you have everything you need in the site that will help you get the um, score or the awesomeness of the website that you desire. So here we go. So here, um, you're in your group project, you already have an index page, but you need to add all of the other pages and give them names. Um, double check that you have all of the page names in your website to make sure that you follow good naming conventions. Check with the rest of your group if you need to change a page name. Create a new page for each of the pages in your website plan. So you're going to be saying, add HTML however many times you need to. Okay, so you have new HTML. I'm going to change this to rename. I'm going to call it um, soccer. This one. Rename. You have positions and so forth. Um, and make sure you check with everyone in your group that you have the same list of HTML pages. You don't want to be confused later on. You don't want somebody working on the wrong page or whatever. Um, so there's that. So you just need to add all the pages. Um, Inside each new page, create a comment that describes the page and who's in charge of it. Okay, so make sure you add that comment. So in index, we got enter, we do. Oliver's in charge of the um, sports. Okay. There's how you put in a comment. I'm sorry, I forgot the exclamation mark. So Oliver is in charge of the sports page. And you just make sure you have less than exclamation dash 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 Oliver and whatever you're gonna put in the comments, dash 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 greater than. So that is that first part. So we've got it labeled, we got pages added. Now we start putting in our content. Finish that up. Go to number two. Okay, now that you have all those, they gotta be style. We need to add a style sheet. So we're gonna add CSS. Index. Gonna have rename style sheet to soccer. Need one more. Rename that to positions. So there you have it. We renamed those. Test your links to make sure they work. Check all your images. Okay, we're going to have to make sure all of that is done. You're going to have links to your style sheet. Okay, 
right here. We got it. REL style sheet, href style.css. Same thing with link space. Uh, sheet. No, REL. Think REL equals quote style sheet. Unquote. Okay to look back. href style.css. href equals now not style sheet but positions.css close it up and there you go so we got to make sure all those if you're responsible for the navigation bar add that here too add all your html pages test your links and check that all of your images are displaying Finish that up. Okay, so here is where you share the page with your teammates, copy and paste the code for their pages into your project. Okay, share your page and give the link to your teammates. Get the share link from each of your teammates. Click the view code link at the bottom of the screen. Copy the HTML page. So I had somebody send me a link. Uh, not that one, this one. So I click on there. Gives me all of that. I do not see the view code, but Here's what we can do to make this a little bit more simple is if we just highlight, press control C and then control V into an email, uh, we can just paste it all in and everybody can just copy and paste it to make sure uh, we have everything we need. So I will take um, my friend, I will go to here, control or highlight, control C, and then I go back to code.org, go to the soccer page, HTML. I'm just going to delete all this because I don't need it. Control V, and now I have everything in there for the soccer.html. Now, it does look a little bit different than what we want, but uh, that I'm just showing you this for learning purposes here. Okay, make sure everything works correctly. Make sure it works correctly. Okay, if it doesn't work correctly, then uh, that's on you. But you need to make sure it, work, it works correctly, that navigation bar, your images, all that, um, so that you have everything. So. Click finish. Okay, now you're going to add all your CSS. Okay, once again, copy and paste it. Have your partners share that with you by email and then paste it in. Make sure it's all there and, uh, and all nice and styled. So we'll go to CSS. We've got background right. Paragraph, how about we put the background in the body is going to be lime. Sure. There we go. Make sure that everything works. Check that all your pages are displaying the correct styles.
Now share all the CSS styles and classes with your teammates. Use the share link. Okay, make you can do the share link or you can um, So share, and then, then once you get all of your uh, styling taken care of, make sure that there's no conflicts, no two rule. Make sure there's only one rule set for each tag. Uh, make sure your style sheets and copy and paste code into your style sheet. Check all your pages that they're displaying correctly. Once again, make sure they're all displaying correctly. Your site's done. Now go look at your rubric and make sure that your site looks like your teammate sites. Make sure everything is included from the project guide or the rubric. Make sure everything is in there, okay? Check it, check it twice. Use that rubric. I'm a big stickler for rubrics. And I've seen a lot of kids get be really successful or become successful because they use the rubric and they learn to use that to help them. That's lesson 20. Be successful. Use your rubric, follow the guidelines, and you'll be. Have a great day.